my YouTube. So I'm here um, in PA trying to find a load. And um, I want to talk about cheap freight. You know, just shut my truck off and I'm pretty much burning half a tank of fuel um, from last night to now. And I only drove a couple of little miles. But anyways, um, I want to talk about cheap freight. You know, like what is cheap freight? Because I was just trying to book a load from um, leaving PA. It's like 20 miles from me to Oklahoma, which is about 1,400 miles. I'm like, all right, bit. It's Wednesday. I probably could drop it off Friday and pick something up Friday, taking me into next week, right? And called them up on the low. The low was paying uh, $2,300. The guy said that the customer is not paying more than that. I mean, he could be lying. You know, it didn't give me that vibe, though. But anyways, the low was paying $1,300. Uh, 2300 on 1400 miles usually those go for you know 3000 3500 but now i told him that i could take it for 29 or 20 or 28 um he said he's sticking out in his third uh 2023 and i'm like i bet i can't take it and um i hang up within a couple of minutes it's off the board all right so you know i'm i'm not pissed off i'm not mad or nothing like that i see a lot of guys posting stuff like that on the internet um pretty much talking about um you know guys taking cheap freight but what is cheap freight you know because if a guy works his ass off at walmart or you know works his ass off at um one of those warehouses and buy a truck cash and buy a trailer cash from maybe facebook for 10 grand then a guy who may be getting a trailer brand new rent to own for you know twenty thousand dollars and then when you do the rent to own it's forty thousand dollars because now you're paying double on the trailer if you actually ever think about it um so now you're paying basically two truck notes if you really think about it because the trailer is usually eight hundred dollars a month um and the truck is usually a thousand dollars a month and they normally go for the same amount of months if you basically get yourself screwed so if a guy works his ass off and get his truck um you know buy his truck cash buy his trailer cash maybe he bought a used truck maybe he bought a new truck but whatever he do he got his stuff cash off the lot do that guy need to not take a freight for a dollar fifty a mile to compensate for me or any other truck driver who went ahead and um you know take out our truck you know because we have a higher overhead right that guy don't so he can um yeah i'm looking at an accident about to happen truck making a hard right and uh driver in the opposite lane is just driving down him anyways so if if you know that guy went ahead and buy his stuff cash or um buy his trailer cash and we go out and take all of these loans why does he need to compensate for us or our mistakes that we um let happen you know like that's something that i i think about sometimes and i'm like you know that's why i'm not mad i'm never mad at a load for leaving the load board after I didn't take it because that guy or whoever it is, girl, could also buy their equipment cash and, you know, then they choose to take cheaper freight because they only have um, insurance that they need to cover. So there, no truck note, no trailer note. They pretty much don't even need to put like a full comprehensive insurance on the truck because the truck is paid off that's their choice so insurance may be cheaper you know um so you know stuff like that i think about sometimes where i'm like yeah you no know, ain't nothing wrong with a guy taking a load for a dollar sixty a mile because if he if the guy taking the load a thousand miles for a dollar sixty a mile six hundred dollars could cover fuel a thousand dollars in his pocket after all is you know is done 
Um, a thousand miles usually takes two days to run. That's five hundred dollars a day. To some guy, that's decent money. You know, five hundred dollars a day. Because if you do five hundred dollars a day times what five days a week, I think that's twenty five hundred dollars. And I'm talking about after fuel. You know, five hundred dollars a day before fuel wouldn't be nothing. But after fuel and everything, like if you take that home every week in your pocket, that's great. Remember, you don't have no truck now coming out of that, no trailer now, nothing like that. You know, so, you know, that's something that you got to think about when you complaining about cheap freight and cheap freight out here. And also another point is not just the brokers who are giving drivers cheap freight, in my opinion. I think it's coming from the customers. You know, the customers aren't getting enough orders. So, you know, they started shipping out orders cheaper and, you know, stuff like that. But that's for a different video. This one right here, you know, this is just something that I wanted to talk about. But anyways, man, I want y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, trying to get these videos out. Appreciate y'all.